بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم والحمد للہ وسلاۃ وسلام علیہ رسول اللہ ربش رحلی صدری و یسلی عمری وحل القتم بلسانی یف کہو قولی فرسٹ اینڈ فار موسٹ آل پریز ٹو اللہ سبحان و تعالی اینڈ مینس گریٹیٹیوڈ ٹو ہیم فار ایوری تھنگ بفور آئی کمینس آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو ایکسپریس مائی اپریسیشن اینڈ تھینکس ٹو دا چانسلر آف آئی او یو ڈاکٹر بلال فلپس فار اویلنگ اس آل دس ونڈرفل اپارچونیٹی also to all the professors and the tutorial assistants for their continuous efforts and to my family and friends for their constant support without which this journey would not have been possible it is my immense pleasure and an honor to be right here today as a graduate in islamic studies 5 years ago when i started with my journey in iou i was not sure how will i complete the 8 semesters and if i will ever be able to One thing that we all must be aware of is that it is very important to have the correct and sincere intention for doing anything especially when it comes to doing something religious everything must be first for the sake of Allah for pleasing him now it has not been a cake walk for me to complete this course i've had my share of ups and downs but alhamdulillah hard work resilience patience and a lot of prayers got me through Life in general is not easy. I think by now all of us are really clear about it. And to be a student, as in case of IOU, where most are either working professionals or housemakers or even students engaged in some other courses as well, it gets very difficult to manage. No matter how much we try, no matter how much we train ourselves and others, no one can be completely prepared to come out of their sheltered lives and face the big bad world. And being a Muslim student, things become even tougher. Practicing Islam and trying to lead a normal life has been a real test for some of us. People look at us with a different view. They think that we are strange. While all we are trying to do is make for ourselves a life which complies well with our Islamic injunctions. In such circumstances, it is very easy for a Muslim to start losing hope or try to more and more fit in just to be accepted and welcomed like others in the society. But all this at what cost? Compromising on our deen? That should never even be an option. Deen must always naturally come over dunya for us. And as for being a misfit in the society, what better assurance than receiving glad tidings for the same? Our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said Islam began as something strange and will return to being strange so glad tidings to the huraba the strangers every time the world knocks us down for the very fact that we identify as muslims we must bounce back with a refreshed and stronger faith and what better examples of resilience to learn from than those of our own beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Resilience is the ability to recover from a very difficult situation. It is not just the ability to bounce back, but also the capacity to adapt in the face of challenging circumstances. These qualities were portrayed exceptionally well by our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam throughout his lifetime. Be it the death of his uncle Abu Talib or the death of his beloved wife Khadija radhiyallahu ta'ala anha or the death of his children one of the greatest losses that a man can endure or be it situations where him and his people had to suffer endlessly under the oppression of the kuffar or be him having to leave his beloved city of makkah to emigrate to medina and make a fresh start throughout all these situations and circumstances his positive demeanor and his never giving up attitude always shone through As as Muslims the ummah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam must always strive to follow his footsteps and be patient and resilient in unfavorable situations life will knock us down one too many times but we have to spring back every time with a renewed spirit and never to forget the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh you who have believed seek help in perseverance and prayers for Allah is with those who patiently persevere When struck with calamities we must not internalize them rather channelize them into us being focused and resilient the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the example of a believer is that of a fresh tender plant from whatever direction the wind comes it bends it 
but when the wind becomes quiet it becomes straight again similarly a believer is afflicted with calamities but he remains patient till allah removes his difficulties and an impious wicked person is like a pine tree which keeps hard and straight till allah cuts it down when he wishes so when things start going down it all start looking gloomy it is absolutely okay to feel sad and upset and be low for a while but one has to be patient persevere and one has to bounce back be grateful to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for every situation as one does not know the wisdom behind the good and the bad that happens do not let your current situation overpower you be good and always do good and most importantly follow the path of islam shown by our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam be resilient after every fall and rise back stronger and always remember what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran verily with hardship comes ease lastly i pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us all worthy enough to learn understand and implement his deen may he purify our intentions and reward us with khair ameen jazakumullah khair